During his time in the castle, David showed off his six-pack. He serenaded his Bye -bye. campmates and was sent flying in Joe Bridge over troubled water. But your votes mean it's time for David to leave. He was so close to the final, but he didn't quite make it, just like the football days again. <laughs> <laughs> He's out now, though. It's David Ginola! Ginola! Wow. Yes! Uh, sparkling wine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put the champagne on ice? Of course. It's, it's our finest carver. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. You might be disappointed. Have a seat. Relax. Thank you, boys. Take the weight off, and we will have a look at your castle highlights. Here they are. <laughs> what time is it? Showtime! Probably the craziest time of my life. Daddy! I'm here to win. Lovely jubbly. Because I'm worth it. I got my finger in the oh. hole. It has been a gift to get to know my campmates. You are the one for me, for me, da I took my top off because I think, well, uh, why not? I don't need to write a f***ing letter to know that my girlfriend loves me, OK? Nobody point at me and say, you should do that. Take it down. Who's the man? Who's the man? Oh. Twice every night, we'll be allocated to Naughty Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god! French Revolution. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I wish you a good night. Ginola! Legend! Oh, what proper, I say? proper legend. Now, before we start, um, throughout your time in camp, Deck has been speaking French on the show. So do you want to ask a few questions in French? I definitely? don't think that'll be fair to the viewers. <laughs> no, the no, viewers yeah. wouldn't understand it, David. Try. Oh, we, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, no. OK, I'll ask you a question. <laughs> uh, you went into the castle not knowing at all what to expect. At all. Has this surprised you? <laughs> Clearly it has. Uh, it surprised me in a good way and also in a bad way because obviously it was really, really hard. Uh -huh. uh, the condition we're living in were very complicated. Uh, the food, the sleep, um, the lack of everything, actually. Uh, but uh, I, I get some positive things in my mind, saying, uh -huh. well, I'm going to get out from the castle with uh, full of uh, love from the people I, I love very much. Right. So yeah. I, I can't wait to uh, get close to them because it's a hell of a journey. Honestly, wow, an amazing journey. Being three weeks stuck there in the castle and to see the gate when I came out, to see the gate that way, you know, to yeah. see the three remain, remaining there. I, 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 I don't know what to think. It's a half joy, half mm -hmm. pleasure, half... Well, I don't know. I, I, I need to uh, step back a uh -huh. little bit, you know. Let it all sink yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was complicated enough, as you say, it's hard enough with all of those things and being together with a bunch of strangers as well. And on top of that, you have all of the, the, the trials and the challenges, so it's very, very difficult. But but you all got on so well this year, and I, I don't know whether you realise how much the rest of the campmates absolutely idolised you. Have a look at this. David is immense. I think I've got a man crush. Look at him chopping that wood. <sighs> He's fit, isn't he? I think I might love you, David. David's body has to be admired. David, you know, is a bit of an icon to me. I see you're perfectly positioned there, Louise. <laughs> It's David Ginola, and a dream has come true for me during this experience. That man can read the phone book and it sounds sexy. How long have you been David's fan since you were...? Yeah, five, six. Danny, bless him, has a full-on man crush I on David. Love you! <laughs> <laughs> He's not the only one. Um, what does it feel like watching that? Did you realise that they, they all loved you that much? Listen, it, it's amazing to see those footage because uh, we haven't seen anything, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just live live together, uh, you know, contribute to every shows, everything together, 
And uh, I think we liked each other. So I didn't know that bit, you know, <laughs> from, you know, the outside, you know, going to the Telegraph and talking about me that way. But you know what? It's, it's a victory for me anyway. Yeah. You know, it's just a win. All the thing is a win, being stay there, thanks to the public. You know, it has been amazing. I've been adopted when I arrived at Newcastle in 1995. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And it's the second adoption there <laughs> in the <laughs> castle. Yeah. It is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. You did, and you did get on so well with Danny. He, he kind of looked at, as you as a father figure, I think. Did you, did you, what, did, what, what, what was it that you got on so well? How come you got on so well, the two of you? Uh, I think it started from the clink. Uh, because oh, we've course, been stuck yeah. there together with Arlene and uh, Richard and, and Naughty Boy. And we had to, uh, you know, to get our mind clear because it was a really, really hard time. Yeah, it was horrible. Um, and I didn't know. So they were all uh, expecting to go in the main camp. Mm -hmm. So when they've been, we've been stuck in the clean, I say, does it happen every year? Yeah. They say, well, normally no. Oh. It's something new. So you have to, uh, I say, but. Will we, will we see the, the main castle? I say, well, probably one day. So we've been stuck there for five days, yeah. four nights. And I was concerned for Arlene uh, because, you know, she was there. She didn't know what to do. She was cold. It, it was freaking out. I mean, we, you know, you, you did well, guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, hey, you, you, by welcome. The way, you did you very welcome. well. But things got, also got heated in there, even though you all got on together. I mean, you. You uh, had a go at Naughty Boy uh, sometimes, uh, especially over his lack of chores. And uh, things got a little heated with Louise uh, the day that, that she left as well. Isn't that right? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I was uh, voted by the public a camp leader. Uh -huh. And I know it's just a role you have to, to take. But as a role, you need to respect others uh, for them to respect you. And I didn't want to give any orders, anything. And I could see well, when Naughty Boy said, oh, you should do yeah. yeah. Don't tell me what I have to do, yeah. OK? I am my own, you know, I take my own decision. Mm -hmm. And with Louise, it was very simple. I could see her <laughs> saying, oh, uh, yeah, do this. And she came to me once and she said, oh, David, tonight you do the cooking. I said, but I do the cooking anyway. So uh, uh, I said, well, listen, don't take it seriously. It's just a role, OK? Uh -huh. Don't yeah. be because I thought she was a bit bossy. So th that's it, but having said that, you know, it, it was just... Uh, One moment. What I say, it was fun, and also it was, uh, it was difficult, you know, because we're living together. We're yeah. all coming from different worlds. Yeah. Uh, we miles it's, apart. Yeah, it's, it's, and, it's... and then we have to get every day together, yeah. so that's... Well, That's listen, a big you, deal. You it did is. really well. You and did well done. Well.